I don't want the people to talk, but I want togetherness. I want them to be united. And when you hear the trumpet blow, then I want y'all to shout. When you go around the seventh time, and when they went around the seventh time, the Bible says that the walls came tumbling down. But he told him, he said, listen, 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 Joshua. Mm -hmm. When you get in there, I want you to kill off everything. But I don't want you to mess with none of their stuff. Because all of their stuff is cursed. But I want you to take the gold, you take the silver, you take the brass, and you take that into the chambers of the house of God. Y'all don't hear me in the house. But there was, there was, there was. There was just one man, just one man by the name of Ancient. Ancient, he went in, and the Bible tells us that Ancient went and stole a Babylonian garment. He turned around and took 200 shekels of silver. And he turned around and he stole a golden wedge. Y'all looking at me funny. Mm -hmm. And he went home and thought, didn't nobody see him. And he turned around and he buried it in his tent. He Put it among his stuff. But I got to tell you something else as I'm getting ready to close. Because God had told Israel, he said, listen, now I'm moving. I'm moving back into Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter. I'm starting to feel pretty good myself by now. He said, listen, Israel, I I have called you out and I didn't call you because you were better than nobody else but I called you because I had a covenant with your fathers and because of that covenant I love you and I don't want you to touch their stuff don't you marry their daughters don't you mess with with their sons because you are a peculiar people. Are y'all still with me in the house? Well, oh, H and he looked, he lusted, and he stole and hid the stuff in his tent. Are y'all with me? And then after they had overcome Jericho and after they had overrun that gigantic city, there was one little teeny town. It was just a little teeny town called Ai. And uh, Joshua said, well, brothers, we don't have to send many men over there because they're just a few of them. Mm -hmm. So he said, all we're going to do is get about 3,000 of you and y'all go on over there and take the city. That's why we have to be careful when God blesses us and we start to think it's us. It ain't your doing. It's gone on the inside. It's gone. Well, can I say something else? Don't you ever forget from where your blessing has come from. I hear Moses telling Israel, he said, I am he that giveth thee power to gain your wealth. I am what I am because God has brought me out. How many of you know that God 
has brought you out. If you know it tonight, I want you to help me preach and tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, the Lord has blessed me and I can't fail to give him praise. I can't fail to give him glory. I'm going to switch gears on you, and I'm getting ready to take my seat. Mm -hmm. Now here ancient uh, had went and stole uh, and thought he got away. Uh, and when Israel went up against Ai, uh, Ai came out against them. Uh, and the Bible said that they turned their backs uh, and they ran. Uh, and they killed 36 of their men. Uh, and when they ran, uh, it wasn't because Ai was stronger. It wasn't because AI was better, but it was something that had gone wrong. On the inside, there wasn't a cursed thing on the inside. And so I see now, I, I, I see old Joshua. The Bible says that Joshua and the hearts of the men it melted, and Joshua went and fell on his face and began to cry out to God and begin to fast and begin to have a pity party and told God, said, I wish I had stayed on the other side of the Jordan because if I'd stayed over there I never would have been in this trouble but I want to tell you I want to tell you I hear Isaiah in that 58th chapter and verse number 2 he said why have you fasted say they and you take no knowledge he said because on the day of your fast on the day of your fast you still are exacting your own labors. You ain't changed nothing. All you're doing is just on a diet. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. But when you really get to fasting, that's when you're going to give up stuff you enjoy. When you're going to walk away from friends, you're going to worry or don't worry about being accepted. All you want to do is present your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your what? Reasonable service. Can I talk to you just for another minute? Well, he told him to get up from that, Joshua. Quit having your pity party. You get up and search the camp. You search it, you search it, because there isn't a cursed thing in this camp. Church of God in Christ, there's an accursed thing. I said there's an accursed thing in this camp. And how do I know we're being sued? Y'all don't hear me. We're being embarrassed because there's an accursed thing in the camp. And we got to get up and search the camp. Tell your neighbor we got to search the camp. We got to clean up the life. We got to sanctify our lives. Get the curse thing out. And when we get the curse thing out, bodies will get healed. Oh, yes. We will get delivered. He will open doors. But we got to get the curse thing out. Get it out of your life. Get it out of your home. Get it out of the church. Get rid of the curse thing. And Say, Lord. As I take my seat, I hear God talking to Solomon when he tells him while he had finished the temple, he told him, if my people...
Y'all know where I'm going. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and then turn, will y'all do me a favor in here? I want you just to turn. Turn from your wicked ways. Then will we hear from heaven. I will heal. I will deliver. I'll make ways for you. I'll get rid of the curse. I'll get rid of the shame. If you believe it, put your hands together and praise God. 